right guys, welcome to today's video. We're doing something special today. I'm with my man Sean Weatherspoon and we are inside the round two gallery. Now, I'm not gonna make this like a formal YouTube video, like stuff like that. I want it to be more of like a conversation as well as showing his top 10 sneakers. And I, have you ever shown your top 10 sneakers? I've shown my favorite sneakers or like my grails. Yeah. But I kind of use this opportunity to be like, yo, here's like what I'm wearing the most. Okay. So it's like my 10 like favorite right now, this week, today, okay. this hour. Perfect. The first thing I want to talk about with you is basically how when I first moved to LA, there wasn't as many sneaker stores back then on Melrose or in LA at all. And it's weird even talking about it like back then. I feel like two, three years for us in our world is like 10. Yeah, right? It's really weird. It's insane the amount yeah, that yeah. there is now, but yeah. I was looking for places to film and I heard about round two because you dipped the shoe. Oh yeah, the shoe dip. I think it was, was a high sobriety you did the interview with? There's like a video. I think complex. I saw it and I was like, yo, I wanna go to that store. So I went to that store, you weren't there. I think Chris was there. Okay, I tell you. You guys were the first store that was like, yeah, go ahead, film. Cause yeah, every other hyped. store I went to, they're like, yo, no cameras, no cameras. So I made a video, it was like one of the first sneaker store videos I ever made in LA. All right, cool. Yeah, that's what's up, dude. Oh, Appreciate it. One? Yeah, this is the one. No this way. Yeah. I'm a big WWE fan, but they got like vintage Goldberg. You know, we gotta pay rent now, so we can't, we can't just buy everything anymore. But they got some dope ass Supreme stuff right here. I'm not really on that Supreme hype that much. Other than that, I, I forgot when we first met. Man. I think it was, it was a little bit, I wanna say we met here and there, like I came to the store, but I think the first time we actually talked talk was yeah. like, when you were about to start your Nike campaign. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. you're like, yo, I'm about to do this thing with Nike. Like, Boom, yeah, because I hit you up, because yeah. I was like, because we had talked before, and I was like, man, I was like, yeah. hit him up and see how he feels about this. And yeah. I think I like maybe sent you the shoe, and I was like, dude, if you fuck with it. Yeah, yeah, when I saw yeah. it too, when I saw the picture, I was like, I actually like it. Because if you guys yeah. know me, I'm more of Jordans and like Yeezys and stuff like that. I don't really wear Air Maxes. Your shoe was the first Air Max I ever Hell owned. Yeah, I which love is that, dude. Which is dope to me. I've never had someone I know have their own shoe. And the fact that it was someone that was like, you know, had a store and it wasn't just like a huge like designer or celebrity, not to like yeah, it was, say no, it was you're not one of those. It was a random but, opportunity, yeah, dude. So like, everyone always says, like, dude, this doesn't happen to people like you. Exactly. Every time I see Clark Kent, he's like you thankful? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. He's like, remember, this shit don't happen. And I'm like, I got you, yo. Like, right. So I was just like, I sup I supported it. I, I tried to help out as much as I could. I designed the Air Max for Nike with 12, or alongside like 12 other uh, designers and stuff. We each designed our own. And right now, Nike is letting everyone vote on whose design they want to win, pretty much. And whoever's wins will come out this year. Obviously, the contest party rolls around. Travis I'm Scott. Right, right? Yeah. Dude, that dude. shit was nuts. Bro, it Fuck. was insane. I, I still have the clip in my vlog just you thinking want. about it makes me want to like shrivel up dude yeah. i was so stressed there was no oh way they were God. not gonna let you in at that party like it was oh, gonna happen i was so stressed man we were juiced the ultimate vintage curator and co-owner and Again, thank you for my pair. Thank no, you for no, always you letting for me film. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get into the first five of his top ten. Dope. So yeah, let's go. Let's go check them out. Run it. Okay, so we're gonna get into your first five. Is it just ten random shoes, or is it in order from like ten to one? Completely random, no specific order. So there's no like number one. Yeah, these are all number one right now to me. And guys, again, I'm not an Air Max guy, so I don't know too much. So he's kind of giving me the knowledge on Air Maxes because there is a lot of Air Maxes, right? There's a lot of Air Maxes right, right now. Cool, cool. And Nike keeps coming out with more of them. I so know, it's right? getting insane. Man. All right, this is one of my favorites from this year. It's actually super recent, the Skeptas. To me, it's like a pretty amazing shoe. Something that people kept saying with mine was that like, it looked like it came like that with the 97 on the Air Max one sole. Yeah. And I feel like this is the same like because this is a hybrid so this is the air max bw and then uh the 97 soul so it's kind of just like to me it's like a really it just looks like it came like that yeah like when i looked at him at first i was like wait what and it took me a second to look and i'm like that's a bw and a 97 so yeah. i think this is a really sick hybrid hybrid sneakers it usually gets hated on in does, the sneaker yeah. world whether it's jordans or like when they do like air force ones with it just like never a, seems to work out huh? but it worked out for your shoe and then yeah. stuff like this like yeah i think there's just you a think way, it just has to be the there's right there's a way to do it yeah yeah, yeah, you had to do it the right way. And that was why I think we like did well with the 97 one is just because first of all, it hadn't been done before. So it was like a fresh take on something, mm -hmm. but it's just tasteful. Like the 97 has good lines and the Air Max one had a nice simple sole. So I think it, it worked well. And just like how these, like a lot of these lines on the BW upper, like really match back to the lines from the 97. So 
Nice. Yeah, I think this just worked out, and I love white. Yeah. Dude, I love white more than anything. Like, just as far as clothing and sneakers are concerned, like, I, I could never wear black. Really? Dude, I'm the complete reason. opposite. Yo, like, for me to wear a black t-shirt, first of all, I don't know why, but I would look like a dumbass. Like, I don't know why. <laughs> I feel like it doesn't I, Now that I well. think about it, I've never seen you in black. And then try to picture it. Like, yeah. everyone out there, really, like, if you go through my IG. Go no. find one. Go Dude, find one. find a picture of me in a black <laughs> shirt. Holy shit. But, but yeah, so, right, love cool. white shoes. These are dope. All right, you got to put me on game with these because I have no idea. ASAP Nas Converse. I was going to say Tyler, the creator. I thought yeah. these were the Tyler, the creator. Yo, like, so Nas killed it with these. These came out just kind of slightly after my Air Maxes did. And Nas, like, did, you know, corduroy vibes but he did like a whole different type of corduroy on here so i thought that was sick because it was like because nas you know he was part of my original you know group that yeah. helped come up with my shoe yeah so i thought it was cool that he like brought the corduroy idea you know used it with a different corduroy and this is just like man he did this whole like somewhere in mid-century thing that was like his because nas is a very like mid-century styled you know type fashion dude so he had like this whole like somewhere in mid-century campaign that went along with these and it's like you know this represents like a 1970s couch the that's corduroy, what i was gonna say like, the colors and everything is just like super og even so the, even the little bit of leather right there it's on dope, the star right yeah he kind of killed it man okay so i've seen lebron wear these i seen dude. you wear these so this is the air skyline 2. this is one of the best og shoes that nike ever made so yo this is in that category of stuff that's been wearable for life so you know how like nike did those soles that would crumble and shit like on a yeah. lot of jordans this is that foam sole with just the rubber bottom with that really good adhesive. So even like the OG pairs of these remain wearable to this day. Really? The only thing that would happen is like, maybe like um the synthetic would start like cracking or something like yeah. that. Like that's all I would notice, but like, or the leather would crack, but dude, like these were some of the best shoes, but like your toe would peel up and stuff. Yeah. So it was like, man, I thought this was, I, this is one of my favorite categories. It's like the spec, you know, the, uh, it's the Air Skyline, the, the Spectrum, so many good shoes in this category, but I don't know, I really love these. My babies. This is a Dunks. summer shoe for me. So it's like, it's really hot right now and it's really sunny and like anytime this year. So every year you'll catch me around this time telling you that this is my favorite shoe. I just love these Reese Forb denims. This is part of the first series of SBs that ever came out. So this is one of the first pairs of Nike SBs to like ever be released as a Nike SB shoe. And it was before, they didn't even have SB on the tongue at that point. Man, I've always loved good denim. Yeah. Like this is, these frayed like fucking- Yeah, I was gonna ask dude, you. they did, did not come, come like that. The, no, it didn't come No, like dude, that. it okay. comes like super, like comes raw edge. Yeah, like how the Jordans are. Yes, dude, but that's what inspired my shoe big time. Is like, yeah. this has been a favorite of mine for the past fucking 12 years of my life. Yeah. And like, I always, I just always saw that there was nothing cooler, nothing ever cooler than your shoe fraying like this. Is this like the type of shoe where if you come across it in your size, you're buying it? Oh, I'm buying it, dude. Have you come across this? Like two. Really? Ever. They're that rare now? Yeah. I mean, dude, they've just always been rare. Like, oh, okay. I had a I had a size 10 in this, or no, this is the size 10. I still don't have my exact size. <laughs> Let that be noted. I had a nine in these for like five years. I got from my homie, Chris Pardo. Had a nine, I'm a 10 and a half. Yeah. That's how much I love the shoe. I was like, yo, insoles coming out, I just have to have them. Finally, kind of recently, I had a friend who needed a size nine, who knew where a 10 was. I got the 10, sold him the nine. Yeah. And I was like, this is the happiest I've ever been, was <laughs> getting the 10, like that close to my actual 10 and a half. I still haven't came across a 10 and a half. If somebody finds yo, that 10 and a half, hit them up. I'm, I'm here for them. So this is the first one that I actually own too. Dope. Also, said, really beat. Sorry. No, you no, you're your good. My, my pair looks just like this, Love dude. Love it. These kind of just go without saying. This is a great shoe. Nike created an instant classic. So, you know the Tom Sachs shoe? Mm -hmm. So, I guess, like, you know, on average, a sneaker appeals to, like, maybe 30 or 40% of people. Just on average. Yeah. The Tom Sachs shoe appealed to, like, 85 or 90% of people, which is, like, insane. Yeah. That, like, that many people would say that, that shoe appeals to them. Yeah. And I think that this was right there with it. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, dude, like... I, this it's was my first reaction. Instant classic. Yeah, it's just dope. I mean, a lot of people were like, "Oh, I don't really mess with the the it being see through, oh translucent." God, it's tight. It is sick. You don't even have to have good sock game. Exactly. I just wear fucking dry fits, and it's exactly. so sick, dude. Nah, like, they're dope. And like you were telling me, there's a lot of colorways coming out, but I think they killed it with this first color. This is gonna be a dope OG. This is. Yeah. A lot of people are saying it shoe of the year this year. Oh, first of all, yeah. disclaimer. Do you think uh, I wanted to ask you yeah. this? Is your shoe? A 2017 shoe or a 2018? Yeah, it I technically think I, I, think I got like, lucky with it being both, both kind of. right? Because I was thinking about it because I yeah. put it in my top 10 last year. Yeah. And I have to, I feel like I have to put it again this year. I just feel like people I love are kind it so of feeling much. that way. Because yeah. it technically really released. No, 
to the public this year. Yeah, but then they also did, like, the, yeah, the first release was last year, so it's kind of yeah. crazy, you know what I mean? Like, that was, uh, that was cool. <laughs> I noticed that because it hit, I think, like, High Snob or someone, it was, like, the number three shoe of the year or something. Yeah. Uh, last year, and I was like, wait, that's tight, because it really came out 2018. Yeah. I was like, so maybe I'll be able to hit the standings yeah. again, like, in 2018, <laughs> like, that would so, be sick. Yeah, where do you think this ranks as much? Yeah, uh, as, like, I think, sneaker um, of the year? I think this should get sneaker of the year so far, just because it's, it's not a one-hit wonder. Yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? I feel like that says a lot for, like, being sneaker of the year, is that, like, this is not a one-hit wonder, we're gonna love this shoe, we're gonna love the sole on different uppers, we're gonna love the upper on different soles, like, I feel yeah. like this is, they're gonna kill it for us, like, throughout the year, like, just seeing ahead a little bit on the colorways coming, I think, like, and I'm honest, dude, like, at Nike, whenever, like, I'm honest, like, I love Nike, but I really love being honest, and, like, I don't think any of the colorways coming out are gonna, like, make people feel like, oh, Nike found a good thing and fucked it up. Yeah, Because yeah. you know how that's kind of common, yeah, like, yeah. how it's like, oh, Nike found a good shoe, now let's do every colorway under the sun, you know what I mean, and, like, kind of screwed up, but, like, from what I saw, they were super tasteful, I don't think it's gonna, like, I think people would be really hyped. <laughs>
pair number six. All right, I know nothing about Dude, these, so, so put these me on ones game. went under everyone's radar, yo. This these came out what a couple years ago, so this is 2015, 2016. These are the Air Max 96 XX, an Air Max 96 Retro. When these came out originally, it had a different sole, but um, yeah, I mean, this is just like kind of Nike slightly updating an OG shoe and coming out with it and like no one really even noticed. I really love these shoes. Like if you ever have a chance to try these on, they're really good. Sweet. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. I feel like this shoe would get more love if they released it now just because the dad way. Dude, it's one of those shoes. Like if Nike yeah. dropped these right now, it, it would pop off. Yeah, hell you yeah. Know? Yo, love these guys. All right, this is the new version? This is the new one. The, the Supreme version? Was never able to get an OG one my size, dude. Yeah. But like this is a shoe that I've probably wanted since I would say the beginning of time for me, that means like 10 or 12 years, you know, the beginning of like time in this whole fucking world. But man, like this has always been a dope one. So like just back in the day when I'd be going through forums or just even surfing eBay back in the day, like this would always pop up. You know what I mean? Like this shoe would always pop up on like a vintage Nike search or I'd find them thrifting and they didn't ever hold much value. I always personally thought they were so dope. Like dude, flames on the kicks. I was always so stoked on it. I don't think these are out in the States yet. This is a new release. Yes, yeah, so this I've is been the Air Max pictures Deluxe. Online. Yeah. So yeah, these didn't come out here yet. I don't know if there's a release date, but I got these in Japan. I had visited Nike campus like over a year ago, and this was like in the bin of stuff that they're like, hey, this is in the pipeline. What do you think? And I tried them on. I'm like, oh my God, these are so sick. Da -da -da. Sock liner's sick. Dude, it's thick and nice, right? Yeah, like, right? This is it's like almost a whole like, chew, bro. It's like almost Tempur-Pedic. Again, like Nike killed it. This is a retro that's like super on point. The colors are, su are like super there. Like lucky enough, we're just in Japan. Japan, walking around, not even sneaker shopping. We're just walking through Harajuku. I glance over, we walk by Atmos. This was on the wall. No way. And I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, those deluxe TNs are out here? And, or the, you know, just the Air Max Deluxe is out here? And they were like, Chris and Luke were like, yeah, I, I think it was like a Japan thing only for now. And I'm wow. like, fuck, dude. We all went in, got pairs. Like, it was nothing. Just nice. bought them off the wall. I, th I may have like worn mine out or whatever. And then like, I took a picture and so many people hit me up on IG, like, Fab hit me up. He's like, yo, bring home a nine and a half for me. And like the request started to roll in. I'm like, I don't think these dropped in the US yet. Yeah. Like we should have grabbed more pairs and hooked the homies up. Nah, but these are sick, dude, I'm hyped. This is like, again, I feel like it's a very me shoe where it's yeah. like, it's a lot of white. It's a lot of color, you know, crazy patterns. It's super OG vibes. Like I love it, man. So it's like a Nike tennis shoe. You know, one of the homies just kind of slid me these at Nike and I, kind of fell in love with them. Yeah, they're dope. I actually a, like them. It's a dope shoe, right? Yeah, it is. And it, on your foot, it feels really good. Like there's a lot of, there's like a lot of like support in the heel, mm -hmm. just like on your sole and then same in the toe box. And I don't know, it just feels really good. But yeah. I like the layout of it. You know, it's like, it's kind of got like that fat shoe vibe, but- Yeah, with a super small swoosh. The super small swoosh, the old court logo on the back, the rope lace style laces. Like, I don't know. It was, I really like these. No, I like these a lot too. These are dope. Yeah, they gave me another pair yesterday that's all white. All just white. literally all white, this on the back, and then green swoosh. All right, the last but not least. Of course. They gotta be my favorites. <laughs> Is this the original, original first Man, pair? Man, nah. I gave those to one of my friends from when I was like, one of my best friends from high school. Really? He's got my original sample actually, which is the best colors, the best quality. It's the best pair of these that's ever existed. Wow. Yeah, and he's he's rocking those out in VA. Sick. I only got a few pairs from Nike and I ran through them pretty quick. Yeah. Cause I was just, I mean, y'all saw I was wearing them nonstop. Yeah, yeah, like, you wore them not, for like a year straight. They did not <laughs> leave my feet, but. Yeah, I switched out the insole, the velour insole. I think everyone noticed like it pulls your sock off. Does it? It Not tends to me. pull your sock well, off. Well, I don't wear I don't ankle socks. Okay, you so if you wear the ankle socks, socks you're kind of screwed. I switched insoles out. I mean, dude, it's like my favorite shoe. I love these so much. Yeah. They mean so much to me on like so many different levels. You know what I mean? Like even if I didn't make them, I really love this shoe. Yeah. Just like the colorway and everything about it. So. Yeah, well, it's, it's I mean, bro, I've told you a million times and I don't even tell you to gas you up. Like, this shoe is <laughs> freaking fire. Not that, literally, yeah. I don't think there's been a shoe where, like, literally every celebrity was spotted in it like that. Yeah, you know it kind of I mean? blew my mind. From, like, LeBron to, like, you know, Yeah, everyone. And Jonah Hill, recently. That was tight. Yeah. That was stoked. How do you yeah. feel about, like, people are making, like, custom patches? Yeah, everything. That's yeah. all I was hoping. Yeah. Dude, that's all I ever wanted. Really? Like, we did the patches because I, I remember saying it at Nike. I was like, dude, people are going to go wild with this shit. Yeah. Like, I hope it I hope it creates business for someone, yeah, which yeah. it has. Like, yeah, it has. There's Instagram that's, accounts. That's I'm, I got key. some made, like, too. I think it's something that I really like seeing, like, that was a subconscious goal, is that, like, dude, these shoes made a lot of people money. 
Yeah. You know, just kind of, even like the people making fakes, it's like, I don't know, it's putting like food in someone's mouth, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. all the customs that people did to these, like someone's getting paid for it and that money's going to whatever, you know? Yeah. Like, like even the whole resell thing, like kids come into the store and they're like, so nice to meet you. Like, man, I don't have the shoes anymore, but I sold them. Yeah. And they're like, sorry. And I'm like, <laughs> sorry for what? You yeah. made like a few hundred bucks. Like how much happier could I be that I made people money? Like. That's tight. How do you feel? I, I think I've asked you this yeah. off camera. How do you feel when people bring this to the table and they're like, yo, I want to sell these? Dude, it's so crazy. It's just surreal for me. Yeah. I'm just like, all right, you know, like <laughs> You got to authentic check your own I'm shoe. like wild, you know, but uh, I think the weirdest thing is like when our offer gets turned down, we pay like, we pay 500 bucks for them. Mm -hmm. And I think it's funny when people are like, oh, no, nah, it's not enough. Then I'm always like, I'm like, I get it. You know, yeah. but it's just like an awkward thing. It's like, damn, I can't even pay enough for my own shoe. Yeah. Fuck. Have you yeah. ever seen someone wearing them and went up to them and been like dope shoes and they have no idea who Yo, you yeah, are? Yeah, it's my fave, dude. I really? live for it. Really? Oh my, I strive for yeah. it. Those are my favorite people to find, dude, a few times. Yeah. And I love it because I'll because I say it to everyone, if you're wearing my shoes and I see you, I always say nice shoes. And it's like half time people are like, oh my god, yo, dope. And half time people are like, yeah, cool, thanks. <laughs> and then I'm like, and then once they do that, I'm like, ooh, dope. I'm like, I got someone who doesn't know me. I'm like, where'd you end up getting them? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, where'd you hear about them? Like, and I try to get like all the most rawest opinions ever about like yeah. me in the store as I can. That's so, so dope. Yeah, man. That's yeah, so great. It's fun, dude. Has anybody tried to sell you guys fakes of these? Yo, no one's tried selling fakes yet. Actually, these one dudes in New York did this like really weird shit where they like, they tried to do some weird like YouTube video. For, oh, like, I like, saw fake. that. Yeah, yeah. And they like had a fake pair and they like wrapped it in a box, like one real and one fake, hid the real one, showed the he fake He caught one. it though. Yeah, I brought it. And it was just like this really weird thing. Yeah. Like, I guess like that, but no one's ever brought in a fake one and been like, it's real. Yeah. But I did see this one dude rocking a fake pair in the store and he's pretty convinced that they're real. And I've seen oh. him a few times. Yeah. I don't have the heart to break it to him. <laughs> what do you do? Do you break it to him? Maybe everyone can do the comment below thing and let us know what yeah, you do. Yeah, like, let us know. Like, if I see you wearing fake Air Max of mine, do I break it to you or do I let you keep living your life? So that is it for the top 10 video. Sean, thank you for letting us see your collection. Thank you for Maybe one me. day we'll get you to get all your shoes here and we'll Woo! do a quick video. Maybe one day, we'll Maybe see. Maybe one day, I'd be down, yeah. It'd be sick. <laughs> That'd be sick, yeah. yeah. But uh, again, thank you again. And uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys hit the thumbs up. Make sure you guys fo follow him on Instagram. Follow the Round 2 YouTube channel because it's like the best sneaker oh, shit, show on thanks. YouTube. Always watch that. And uh, yeah, man, anything you want to say to the people before we go? Thank you. I love shoes. I don't know. I'm here. Dope. Thank you, man. Yeah, Again. thank you. Hell yeah. Appreciate it. We out.